Hello everyone, Spike Games here, back with some more Magic Arena content. As per usual, like, comment, subscribe, watch the videos all the way through. Best way to help the channel if you are enjoying the content. So we're in the middle of this green-white draft here, like uh, the previous videos. We got double Grateful Apparition, we got a lot of ways to put counters on him on turn three, four, in fact, five, actually. One, two, three, four, five. Technically this, but you probably don't want to do that on three. Uh, six, I'm wrong, sorry. There are seven ways to put counters on Grateful Apparitions on turn two. Probably you don't want to use one of them, so it's really six. Um, but yeah, so that's a super good combo. And we also have Samut, we got Mowu, we got Arlen, so it's a fun deck. And we're currently, let's go back here. Uh, I don't think we made any changes. Well, let's save an exit anyway. We are currently three and one in a traditional draft, which means it's a free draft, which we like a lot. Uh, if we end up losing, we'll just play some Constructed after this. It's been going fairly medium, I would say. The um, hands haven't been great. We had one game where we had to mull a four and we still almost won. So I think the deck is fairly strong. It's just when you're playing green-white, it's a little less consistent than some of the other colors because you don't have a lot of card draw. So it's pretty much whatever you get, you get. If you get the good stuff, it's good. If you don't, it's bad. Uh, this hand's fine. No two drop is a little sad, but we got both colors. We got a bunch of stuff to do. We'll make a big flyer. Everything will be grand. Opponent mulls the six, which I like to see. I'm a big fan of opponents mulling to six. All right. Let's try the Grateful Apparition. How about that? Just like do that. That'd be awesome. No? Okay. That's fine. Put it on blue white. Strix on two. No worries. No worries. No worries. You're a turn late. Uh, let's do this. Make a one four wall. will hit us probably for two or for more than two how about four <laughs> that's a lot it is a lot uh, yeah we're just gonna have to eat damage from that for another turn which is sad Ashiok interesting well we're in with this because we can't block with it because we, he has a flyer all right Ashiok got it Trying to mill me out. Understood. We will not block. We will take three. Opponent plays nothing. That's incredibly suspicious. So I think New Horizons plus Martyr is probably the play. So let's let's do this in full control so we don't get messed up here. Let's play New Horizons. Target the planes that's untapped. Yeah, that's what we want. Crush Descent. Really? Really? Huh. I don't think I've seen this card played almost at all. Well, we're in for two, I guess. That was unexpected and very sad, I would say. Okay, there's the Ashiok. Opponent's in for four this turn. Not much to do about that. Well, they got three really good cards off that, which is sad. Ah, uh, blah, 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 I'm Ashiok. Yeah, yeah, I got it. Okay, we'll go to nine. Next turn we'll play a creature and a pledge of unity, probably. And we can't do that because we only have four mana. That's rough. Well, let's do this. And then let's attack. Is Ashiok going to kill us? That's the thing, right? I think we probably attack Ashiok here. Because we're losing the race and we don't want to get milled out too, so. And they have the Divine Arrow, huh? Well, that's sad. And it's got all the goods, huh? 
Hopefully they don't have more goods, because if they don't, we can divine arrow and kill their Strix, and then we're feeling okay. It sounds like Ashiok needs some allergy meds. <laughs> Is opponent going to play around? Okay, I was like, oh, wow, opponent's going to play around the Divine Arrow. That would be gutsy. But they do not. So that's cool. Alright, here is a Challenger Troll. Uh, yeah, let's attack Ashiok. Opponent wants to trade. I'm fine with that. They do not. Great. So that reduces the likelihood that they're going to mill us all the way out, which is nice. Okay, I decide to go for it. So we're on 15 cards. I think that's plenty. I think we'll be able to win with that. Especially with opponent on, oh, but the Wanderer. That's pretty good. Gets to kill our troll. I must yeah, it's not the best. That's true. And we're also at nine. So this will be close. Ooh, that helps though. Four or five, yeah. So we... What do we do? All right, let's think. Let's be let's be smart here. I think the play is Grateful Apparition, Pledge of Unity, attack for a bunch after he taps something down, of course. Uh, attack uh, the Wanderer, actually. So if he wants to chump, he won't be able to deal any damage back. The Wanderer still can't kill anything, because it's only power 4 or greater. And next turn we'll kill the Wanderer. And opponent's top decking, so I feel like we're in a pretty good spot. Okay. Ooh, so we can also just Wanderer Strike Kill Flyer. Proliferate everything, kill, wander, or kill, uh, or hit opponent for a lot. I like this. Gets rid of the flyer. Uh huh. Proliferates all our guys. Opponent will tap something down. It's not the biggest of deals. These are both dealing three, so we'll attack and we'll attack. Boom, boom. All right. And we'll proliferate. This is great. I feel great about this. Opponent scoops. They didn't feel great. That's good. This is going quite well. I'm pretty excited about this. Um, so here's a hot take. What if we take out uh, Vivian's Grizzly and put in Battlefield Promotion? Because then we have more ways to get the combo online. Let's do it. I'm ready. It's a hot take, but I'm going to do it. I'm ready. I'm ready for 7-1. Here we go. Or 5-1, I guess, in this format. Whatever. This hand is slow, but we're going to keep it. Opponent, opponent mold the 6, so that's good for us. And we're on the draw, so we have a chance to draw a Offensive two drop if we need to. Okay, well, we didn't that turn, but that's okay. Okay, not the best start here. Drawing a lot of land. Okay, it's a little annoying, but it's not the end of the world. We'll play Pegasus here. We won't trade. We'll wait, because next turn we can go like this and like this and kill this and start flying over. So we'll take we'll take our medicine this turn. Uh 
Huh? Okay, great. They don't have a trick. No blocks. Medicine. We'll take the two. Okay. So here, we'll play this guy. And we'll attack our opponent for two. The thing that is nice about green white decks is that it's just it's just, you know, classic magic. You play your creatures, you have your spells, you hold them up when you can. It's just great. There's no like complicated combos or weird interactions. You're just playing creatures and hitting them in the face. <laughs> Which is sometimes nice. Okay, well, opponent played around Divine Arrow, which is an interesting call. I don't think they should be doing that. I think... Yeah, I don't think that's good for them. So here, uh, we're on 5 mana, so we can do this and still hold up Divine Arrow, which is what we want to do. Now, if they have a way to bounce this out from under the Courage, that's a little sad. Looks like they might. Ooh, they do not. Interesting. Okay. They will tap it down, though, which is fine. Yep. So no reason to attack, if that's the case. And we just pass with Divine Arrow up again. Mm-hmm, opponent not doing anything, I guess. Okay, well, here's a Grateful Apparition. Do you have a Counterspell? No? What do they have? They gotta have something, right? Ooh, and he doesn't tap down. That's great for us. Forgot to do the tap down here. Do they have a Divine Arrow? They might. What do they? What, what does our opponent have? Just taking four? Hmm. I'm very confused, if you haven't noticed, <laughs> as to what's in our opponent's hand. Maybe they just have a bunch of high drops and they've been missing their lands. That's also a, a possibility. Okay, well, we'll just prison realm then. Get rid of our 4 4. That's okay. Scribe to the top, which I don't like to see. Let's tap our guy down and come in for two. We will Divine Arrow the Flyer. That's fine. They are hardcore playing around this Divine Arrow. Which is okay until it's not. <laughs> Eventually, they're going to have to swing in. Ooh, that's scary. They have been stuck on four, maybe that's their problem, but this means they won't be stuck on four anymore. Which is a bit scary if they've been surviving this long stuck on four. Four top? Yike. That's very scary. We'll see if they've consciously been... No, it doesn't even look like they're consciously playing around Divine Arrow. Well, we'll just keep making wolves then. Please protect my pack. All right. Well, now we're coming in. I'm gonna tap the grateful apparition, probably. Yeah, that's fine. I mean, what are you gonna do? <laughs> Can't play around Divine Arrow forever. Because it's attackers or blockers, so. Strix, that's okay. What else? Strix again, okay.
Jeez. All right. Well, we'll make another freaking wolf here, I guess. <laughs> Wolves for days. And then we'll go to combat. And then we'll go to attackers. All right, tap down our great flow operation, sure. So we can't proliferate our entire team. <laughs> That's a smart thing to do. And we're in with this guy, and this guy, and this guy. Yeah, we've already made our three wolves, so we don't really care much about Arlen anymore. Especially since he's going to be tapping down. Uh, sure. And we'll play this. Uh, okay, that's big and scary, but he doesn't have things to proliferate, so it's a little bit less big and scary. Plus, if he doesn't tap down this, he's forced to... Well, yeah, he's forced to block it, and then we can Divine Arrow and things will happen and it'll be great. Let's see. I think we're winning this game, but... We have certainly not won it yet. Opponent has a lot of things still. Forcer Griffin's pretty good. Blocks a lot of our guys. And he still holds up the one mana for tapping down. I see. Well, uh, this is amazing. So we're just going to do this. <laughs> Get rid of the 3-4 flyer. Make all our wolves 4-4s. Four Make another wolf. <laughs> Seems pretty good to me. Yep. Make another wolf. This one will be a 2-2, two -two, but, you know, it's still 4 bodies for 6 mana. Okay. One's going to tap down our Grateful Operation, probably. And then we're coming in with the squad. That's super interesting. Well, have fun blocking that. <laughs> Not even going to do the math. Opponent's got a double blocker. Well, they can't, right? Because we have so much power coming in. This is 12, 14 power. And we'll just Divine Arrow, whatever they block the Grateful Operation with. So it doesn't die. And they'll take 8 and go to 1. And we are in a great spot. If they have the board wipe, we're very sad. Other than that, I think we win. Nice. Woo, woo. This draft is going way better than I thought it would at the beginning. All right. We're on four wins. Let's go check out the pack, and then I'll give you the last game here. Arlen, hey. And Raoul, nice. All right. All right, all right. Let's get this last game in here. So we're getting 1,800 gems, and if we win this, we'll get 2,100 gems. And six packs. That's a lot of packs. I'm ready. Let's go 5-1 and one in matches. That would be sick. All right. I've been playing against lots of Vivian avatars today. We'll be on the play. This hand's a little slow, but I think I'll keep it. We draw the Grateful Apparition. This is an amazing hand. Caillou Kalzumi. Zoom. Zoomy.
Let's go. Let's go. I'm ready to go 5-1. Here we go. Opponents in the tank about whether to mow, which is a good sign. They do. Okay. That's fine. I'll take it. I'll take it. I'm ready to go to 5-1. Alright, land. Punnet mold to six, scry to the bottom. Great sign. Okay, no two drop, no one drop from opponent. Got it. Alrighty. Burning prop, that thing's really good. You are one turn too late yet again, sir. Um, let's see. I think we want to make the menace guy really big. So we'll do that. Will opponent kill it is the next question. Looks like they're thinking about it. Yeah, no way I'm blocking that. <laughs> no chance. Okay. That's no worries. Let's play this guy. Proliferate. Yep. Attack with a 3 3 menace. Pretty good. It's a lot of power we got down there on turn 4. Opponents in the tank. Thinking about what to do. Contentious plan for almost no value. I like it. I mean, I guess it is value because they get to scry and draw, which is a fairly good rate for 2 mana. But they're in the tank about it, so must not have been ideal. So if we draw land next turn, we can Courage and Crisis, make this a 5, make this a 6-6, six, six, make this a 4-4 four, four Menace, and then play this guy on top of it all. Sounds good to me. I like where we're at in this game already. Okay, they scry to the bottom. They draw their card. They're on one mana. They can't attack. Things are good. Life is good. Two mana, okay. I think they were trying to decide if they needed the, the land there. Oh, oh, it's so good. Life is good. We'll do this. We'll put it on this guy. We have two mana, so they can't do those kind of counters. We'll attack with both. They're chomping. I like it. They're uh, looting. That's fine. Then we play the Martyr. This curve out is insane. I'm a huge fan. They're just playing 1 3s. <laughs> 1 3 dot deck they got going on over here. Okay. Now we get to play both of these too. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Counter you up. Proliferate three. Attack with all three. <laughs> Woo, what a curve. I love it. Opponent's like, ah, what do we do? There's so many big creatures. Okay, so that becomes a four or five. Oh no, just a four four. No big deal. Not a big deal at all. We clear their board, we proliferate twice, we play a grizzly, we're winning this game. Let's go. One more win for 5-1. I'm excited. Let's get excited. Anything we want to do here. I want this in here, and I want this out of here so we can get the combo next game and just win. <laughs> That's the dream. What did we see from opponent? We saw blue-red stuff. So, oh, dude, we have another iron bully. Let's put that in here, too, and let's take out... 
Uh, let's just take on a Forcer Griff. Let's lower the curve. Let's get the combo. I'm ready. Is there anything else that puts counters on that we've been missing this, time, this whole time? Uh, no. Okay, let's do it. Show me the combo. Spirit into way to put a counter on Spirit into win the game. I'm ready. Uh, not quite, but I'll keep it. Opponent mold to six. Okay. 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 We can still draw Spirit. If we draw Spirit, it's great. Not quite. We still got one more turn to draw Spirit. Come on. I believe in your deck. I believe. Opponent's on turn two, burning profit again. That's really sad. Uh, nothing on two. That's also sad. Opponent is hitting all their land drops. Also very sad. Okay, 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 okay. Let's do... What do we want to do first? Okay, let's think. Let's think this through. So... This is probably the least likely thing to get killed, and it stops him from attacking us. So I think that's what we want. These are very big targets, and he can kill them with burn spells, so... We also care the least if this gets countered, I think. Cool. Just comes up the ground, which is nice for us. Sure. What do you have? Some would sprint. I don't care at all. Might have been a bit of a cocky block. Oh well. Yeah. I even called it. I was like, oh, some would sprint. Whatever. It's okay. We made him burn a card. That's a one for one. It's fine. All right, now we play the bully, I believe. Counter up himself. Opponent has something, it seems like, maybe. Seems like they want to have something. Yeah, they do. Okay. Jeez. Turn two profit is pretty rough. I will say. Um, opponent is running a little low on cards. So if we ever stick a threat here, we'll be able to do pretty okay, I think. If we can't, though, it'll be rough. <laughs> I'm gonna take five this turn. That's no fun. Ah, opponent scry to the bottom that time. That's nice. I will defend my allies. What do you have outside the game that you can put in your hand? <laughs> What's in your sideboard, friend? Bolasa Citadel? Guild Globe? Iron Bully. Okay. We'll take five. That sucks, but ow. Four, five, six, Arland. Oh, we don't have second green. Okay, well, we'll do this then. Do this. Do this. Do this. Do this. Uh, no attacks. Okay. I think we take this guy if he swings in. Yeah, especially now, because it'll just be a 5-5. Five five. <laughs> okay, scrying to the top is not what I like seeing. Please stop doing that. Please stop doing this too. <laughs> it's a little annoying. 
Oh, that's so bad. Oh, that's the worst. Jeez. Take nine here. Yike. That's very bad. One, two, six, seven. That's five. Can't do that. Mm. Hmm. Six makes it three, three. We just chump. That's not so good. I think it's our best play, though, unfortunately. This is just going to get so out of hand. We can't deal with it anymore. Mm, very unfortunate. They're getting so much value off Karn. That's not like a usual thing in draft. But I guess you, one, if you maybe pick Karn early, you can just pick up some like met artifacts that then don't have to be in your deck and you just get free drawing of them later. Yeah. Make it a 3-5? Yeah. So now we can't block it, huh? And you get the third card draw, huh? Third Iron Bully. All right. <laughs> I think we're going to lose this game. Coming at me. I'm at three. I will die. All right. GG. Okay. We can do this, I believe. We just need to get the combo early, and it'll be great. I'm ready. I want this in here, though. And I don't want... I don't think we need this. Yeah, I want the death touch in there for the 6-6 six, six guy that's really hard to kill. Or the, he's not always a 6-6. Six, six. He's just big. Let's do it. One and one for the five one. For all the marbles, as they say. Is in the tank as they should be. Thinking it through. All right, here we go. Good opening hand, please. Hmm. <laughs> hand is sketchy. I'm gonna mulligan. Hand is also sketchy, but we're gonna keep it. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. I'm ready. Okay, okay, okay. Here is a two drop flyer that blocks your guy. Please no turn to uh, scry guy again. That'd be great. Okay, just an auger bonus. Just an auger. No big deal. Invade the city is not very good and limited, so that's a good thing. I like seeing that. Let's make a light shield here. Let's make this guy a 2-4, and let's attack with him. This is kind of interesting, right? Because we don't have any green cards or lands. So it's just like, well. <laughs> OK. Hit me for two. That's fine. Okay, there's our first green card. So here, I'm gonna make an iron bully. I'm gonna make our flyer bigger, and I'm gonna attack you for three this time. We're sort of all in on this war creature, which doesn't feel very good. If they have bounce, it's very bad for us. Oof, contentious plan for no value. I'm a big fan of that. Looks like they're missing their lands. Okay, well they found it, so that's a little bit sad, but okay. Oh, 
I'll take one. That's fine. We're ahead in the race. Contentious plan again. No value. Good stuff. There's green. Oh, I love it. So we do this now. We go here. And we do this. And then we play this. We can't play that. So that's on me. Um, well, we'll just do this then. We'll hit him for zero. Hit him with the light shield for zero. <laughs> That was my bad. Oh well. Sometimes you mess up. I thought we had five mana for some reason. I got all excited because we drew the green. I was like, oh, we can play this. It's like, no, you can't. <laughs> we draw another land, we get to play both next turn, which is fun. Opponent has three things for Invade the City? Okay. Okay, okay. Okay, yep. Nice, there's the land. Okay, so now we do this. Or no, we attack, right? See what they do, because we have four creatures. And we have two instants, so. And we get to play them both, so. This would be great. I think we play Pledge first because we don't want it to get countered. Uh, yeah, that's the order we want, I think. No, I think we want this order, actually. Okay, now we play this first. See if they have the counter spell. Uh, three damage, huh? Yeah, that's fine. Let's do this in response on this guy. I suppose we should have done it on this guy, technically, because then proliferate would have hit all three. So that was a little bit of a mistake, but now we get to kill both, which is nice. Our opponent to five, and if they can't kill our five seven flyer next turn, we win. Kill or bounce, I guess. Woo! We got there. We did it. Five one. So exciting. Let's go. Claim prize. Five wins. 2,100 gems and six packs. Very good. Let's see what we got. Let's open all these packs. Apex hybrid. Beacon. Ooh, Jace. That's fun. Avnica at war. Narset's reversal and Elder Spell. Nice. All right, well, this has been Spike Games, successful draft. Uh, as always, like, comment, subscribe, watch the videos all the way through if you want to help the channel, and we'll see you next time. Bye.